Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the Life Church Bristol Bite Size. We're so glad you've joined us and hope that God speaks to you through the service this morning. Sadly, we couldn't make the summer sizzler as we were on holiday, but here are some of the uh, highlights from the day. That looks like it was a fantastic event. But don't worry if you missed it too, there's other summer socials coming up. The next one is a pub quiz, which confusingly isn't actually being held in a pub. It's at the church building on the 8th of August. Anyway, you can register your teams on the church website. The worship song for this week is one I heard a few weeks on the radio. Um, and it's been stuck in my head ever since then. Um, it's called Mighty God, Father, Friend. And it's by Ghost Ship. Hope you enjoy it.
you'd like to give to Life Church Bristol, visit lifechurchbristol.com forward slash give, where you'll find options to give by card or the details you need to set up a standing order. To find out more about gift aid, email admin at lifechurchbristol.com and they'll help you. So that's all from us. But we're really excited to hear from Phil Keynes this morning, speaking on the subject of gentleness. We hope you get a lot out of it. Also, have a great day! Bye! Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you this morning. And uh, I want to welcome you to Sunday Bite Size. Uh, my name's Phil. And I'm continuing uh, on the series of uh, fruit being fruitful and uh, I'm speaking on gentleness the fruit of gentleness it's a beautiful fruit a lovely fruit which means to be mild mannered to be moderate to be delicate to be thoughtful to be soft and gentle there's one thing I want to say it's not it's not being weak or spineless or walked over or even stepped on or even crush or ignored. Uh, another description that I've heard is, is described as strength under control. That's a beautiful description. In our daily lives we often encounter anger, aggression, uncaring attitudes, uh, being out of control. But the Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 5, let your gentleness be evident to all. Gentleness is one of the evidence of God's Spirit living within us. I worked at Cadbury's for, for 27 years and I was given many, many nicknames, um, some I can't even repeat here. Uh, but one of them was, I was called the Gentle Giant. And I can understand, I know why they call me the Gentle Giant. Uh, when they found out I was a Christian, they would very often try to get me angry, get me agitated, make me lose my temper. But very often, that gentle spirit rose within me and I never retaliated. Not all the time, but most of the time, I was able to do that. I remember on one occasion, a couple of my friends actually were getting very, very angry with each other and it could have ended up with a, with a massive fire. But I, was, I stepped in and uh, with that gentle, spirit that gentle attitude I separated them and tried to calm the situation down um, I remember a couple of weeks ago I was on a dog walk with my dog called Marlow and uh, very often on uh, certain areas of the dog walk I let him off the lead and um, he was running around and then I put him on the lead when we we're close to home but this time I, I didn't get a chance to put him on the lead and he spotted this man and this dog, uh, they are renowned to be quite miserable in the area, but Marlow didn't know that. He ran over to this dog and he wanted to, to, to speak to him and bark with him, but the man picked the dog up and he turned around to me. He was very, very, very angry. And he shouted at me. He said, put your bleeping dog on a bleeping lead. And uh, I, I was a bit shocked. And so I began to walk towards him. And I could see this man, he was bracing himself for a, a volley of abuse from me. Uh, as I was walking over, you know, two things could have rose up within me. One of those things was a, a spirit of anger, a spirit of retaliation. The other thing was the spirit of gentleness. And that's what rose up within me. I got to the man, I says, okay mate, don't worry, just, just calm down. He's, Marlo's only trying to say hello, but yeah, yeah, I will put him on the lead. So I put him on the lead and walked off. And then I shouted at Marlo, no, no, I didn't, no, no, I didn't. Um, but I remember a couple of weeks later, I actually met this man. I was taking Marlo for a walk again, and he was on his own. And we actually had a good conversation. That could have been so much different if that spirit of retaliation had risen within me. There's a verse in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. It says, a gentle answer, a gentle action turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up 
anger. You know, our greatest example is Jesus. There are many stories in the Bible about Jesus being gentle and kind. I remember the story of the, the woman who was caught in the act of adultery. These people, they brought this woman, they were angry, they brought this woman to Jesus. And they said to Jesus, in the law, it says that this woman needs to be stoned. I can imagine the scene. They were stood there with their rocks and stones in their hands, really angry. But Jesus was calm. Jesus was gentle. It says that Jesus knelt down in the sand and he wrote something. And then he stood up and he said this. He says, he who is without sin, you throw the first stone. And then one by one, all the men walked away and left with Jesus and this woman. Jesus said to this woman, where are they now? Go and live your life and sin no more. So all the fruit, including gentleness, is an outflow of God's Spirit in our lives. Matthew 7 verse 16 says, By your fruit you will be recognised. People watch us, friends. People, people read us like a book. But also people are attracted to us because of the fruit of the Spirit that lives within us. Somebody said to me once, Phil, whatever you do, don't be a religious nut, but be a spiritual fruit. May we go out into the world today and this coming week with these lovely fruits of the Spirit, gentleness, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. May they overflow into other people. Thank you for listening. God bless and have a great day.